Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking specifically about Jeffree Star Cosmetics and his new palette launch and collection and um, we're just going to talk about how I just feel like it was really insensitive and just talk about makeup marketing in general going on during the pandemic. I made a video about this um, kind of during the Sephora one when their first kind of scandal happened so if you guys want to see another makeup marketing video go ahead and check that one out okay so jeffree star recently came out with a collection called the cremated collection and all the shadows were death themed and um i kind of just wanted to talk about this um i've been wanting to talk about jeffree star cosmetics um for a minute um but i felt like this is a good time especially since this launch is going on. Um, I first want to start off by saying I do not support Jeffree Star, his brand. I don't support him as a person. I don't support the past things he has done. Um, to me, I feel like he hasn't shown himself that he isn't racist. Um, he said a lot of harmful things towards a lot of black women and especially in the YouTube community. He said um, a lot of problematic things to Jackie Ina, to makeup Shayla, um, and even those, those, even though those things have happened in the past, I still feel like it's not excusable, um, just because I feel like we still continue to see bad behavior from him, and I still feel like the way he treats a lot of different races and a lot of different minorities, and just how he even treats his friends in general, um, is one of the reasons why I just don't support him and I have I just haven't um so I don't own anything from his brand I don't use his products nothing like that so I kind of wanted to first start this video off by saying that and kind of stating my opinion um I don't know if he's still racist he has apologized for what he said in those videos but to me I feel like I can't accept his apologies apologies multiple apologies because I feel like he still continues to do the same thing over and over again, whether it's racism, whether it's just rude, whether, um, you know, it's misogynistic. And to me, he has just done so many things that I feel like I can't support him as a person or a brand. Um, so I just wanted to give that little background um, before I state my opinion, just so you guys know that um, I've kind of had this opinion of him for a while. And yeah, so that's kind of my little bit of a backstory. So recently he came out with the cremation palette and all the shades are very based off of death and everything like that. And currently we are in a global pandemic. I want to note that I'm not getting on him for releasing a product during this time. I'm just upset with the overall theme of the palette. Like I felt like to me, whether he released it before the pandemic, during the pandemic, or after the pandemic, it wouldn't have mattered because to me the idea I felt like was so just inappropriate and I feel like um, people were trying to say, oh it's edgy, oh it's gothic, oh it's this, oh it's that, and to me I just don't see it that way. I feel like kind of mocking death in that way, I just, I don't know, to me it just rubs me the wrong way personally. And um, I just feel like especially releasing a palette during this time where a lot of people, you know, that is the only method that, you know, can happen. And it's just, it's really, it's really sad and it's really um, scary to me. So I feel like I just really feel for a lot of the victims of, you know, this coronavirus. And I feel like this was just a horrible time to release a palette, but I also think in my opinion, I wouldn't have ever, I wouldn't have went with a theme palette that was based off of death in that way. And other brands have done edgier palettes in the past. For example, um, where is it? I have my, my main spell palette. I love this palette. This one, um, is more kind of, you know, edgier. It's based off of witches. It's kind of more of a Halloween based palette. All the shade names are based off of witches um another edgy one i was thinking of is kind of bitter lace beauty they did like um makeup kind of based off of like a halloween collection one of the colors was slay and there was like a blood splat and that was also again based off of halloween 
So some people were saying, making the argument, like if he would have released it during Halloween, it would have been um, a different situation, which to me, I just don't think so because it's like, to me, I think if the palette had a different name, like I think it would have been a little bit different, but I think the fact that it had such a horrific name, I'm just like, y'all. I just really can't and a lot of people are defending him and to me I'm just like I can't defend a racist first of all and then also I just feel like to me this is just something you know I understand alternative I understand um you know kind of like the gothic scene and everything like that but to me this is just something I personally um couldn't get behind and I just was like I just kind of wanted to make a video about it because I feel like a lot of people are excusing this and I feel like if any other brand would have came out with this, they would have been getting so much backlash, like a lot of backlash and I feel like Jeffrey really is not getting that ma much backlash for it and a lot of people are saying, you know, it might be a generational thing where like people are like, oh, you, you guys are being so sensitive and I, to me, I don't think it's being sensitive I think you should allow people to have their opinions and if they don't want to buy it they don't have to buy it and I feel like you know like let's allow people to have their opinions and my opinion of the pod is that I'm not going to be purchasing it um so that's kind of just my opinions now we're going to talk about kind of the actual like shades and everything regarding that because I also wanted to talk about this but I wanted to just do kind of a monochromatic pink look but your statement i would like to make is just because you guys have black people in the promote promotion doesn't mean the colors necessarily work you know what i mean because he had um a few people promoting it and to me i'm just like the last two rows of the actual palette that's another thing um, i wanted to discuss i feel like is just like trash like to me I'm literally like this palette is completely completely trash and I'm just like like the shade range I just really can't I feel like I can't get So I feel like I can't get behind the shade range just because I feel like, you know, the bottom two rows I couldn't use. A person darker than Jeffree Star probably couldn't use those last two rows. And to me, it's like, I think it's interesting how brands like to claim inclusivity by having, you know, their token black person in their campaigns. But then when it comes down to it and we're getting into the actual products it's not gonna work now to me i feel like the top two rows of the palette it will work if you want to create a grungy smoky gothic look but i feel like the rest of the palette is not going to work on someone of my skin tone so lastly even though and then another thing i guess people are saying well it's like he can't push it back because even if he pushes it back the pandemic's still going to be going on the aftermath is still going to be going on and everything like that and you know from a business standpoint he can't push it back to me i'm not even asking for it to be pushed back i just wish that this wasn't even created in general like to me i'm not supporting it i'm i'm not supporting him still and i felt like to me i'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter on top of this i just feel like for me like i just as I just thought it was such a bad idea like and I feel like it's crazy that people are really defending him just mostly because it's Jeffree Star and I feel like you know I don't know I'm not like I said I'm not defending a racist I'm not standing a racist and I'm not standing Jeffree Star for what he did and I feel like for me I'm just not gonna buy the palette obviously and I just wanted to talk about it because to me I feel like it was so tone deaf to release a palette like this in general and especially to release it during the middle of a pandemic I feel like is even worse um and a lot of people are saying oh it's not that bad it's not that big of a deal and for me I'm like 
I don't know something something rubs me the wrong way about this and um I didn't want to get too deep into everything that Jeffrey has done um but the fact that he's even right now currently in the middle of another scandal with the whole Dobby vanity situation whether he knows something whether he doesn't know something I'm definitely not going to get into that because there's just so many allegations and so much information that I'm not even sure is true um or what's true or not um and it's just crazy because he is just constantly in allegations constantly in um scandals and people just do not care like people are just like oh well whatever so I don't know I kind of wanted to make that video or this video kind of just to talk about the collection and talk about my thoughts and talk about what I think about Jeffree Star kind of summed up in a quick video and it's just crazy to me that the top people in the beauty industry are misogynistic and racist men that have so much right privilege and they use it not for good and they use it to tear down a lot of women in the community so that's kind of my thoughts um let me know what you guys think of this video and i'll show you guys the final look and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i hope you guys are staying safe in quarantine bye